So once again, I gotta say, I think definitely this is one of the best fights in all of Dragon Ball Super. Like, honestly, Goku versus Hit in this episode, the fact that it wasn't one-sided at all, it was kind of like, Goku gave Hit a run for his money once he discovered his secret, then Hit started fighting back, then Goku went full-on Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, taking it back to earlier shit. Like, it just felt like it was a really good match. And this is something like, it makes me go back, and I know I said a lot of this in the Royal Review, but it really makes me go back to just a lot of things prior to Super. Or like in the olden days of like different lessons and just going back to Kaioken like to be honest with you the risks that are with Kaioken basically if he were to fuck up once he, he he dies like if he fucks up one time on powering up to the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku be dead I think maybe I mean I guess because this is a more new transformation Super Saiyan Blue but with Goku having his body like you know destroyed a million times and being around this long you would think that Kaioken wouldn't be that much of a strain on him because he would have had it figured out by then but I guess the move is so powerful that no matter how much you train how strong you get it still is a risky situation and getting a little more context on what happened with hit in this episode as far as like him advancing i like that we got to get more into his character as well because some of the other characters Magetta is just like okay he's a robot that's wimpy and shit like that but getting hit to actually acknowledge goku and respect him to the point of like him saying oh shit you helped me realize i can even get stronger than what i am now and him being able to do 0.5 seconds now which i mean some people argued because i've seen some people going back and forth about like about ghoul though from the ginyu for us like all he had to do was hold his breath and he could you know stop time for as long as you know he kept his breath held and like hits technique not being as good i mean it's it's different people that was probably something that that ginyu force member guldo was born with opposed to him he probably learned it and i'm sure if they lose this tournament champa's gonna fuck hit up but then again you gotta think because goku super saiyan blue kaioken is probably i want to say closer to beerus because when he had his fight with beerus it wasn't that beerus was a billion times stronger than him goku was kind of sort of close to Beerus maybe not that close but he was sort of close to him and Hit is right now like you know kind of even there with Goku I mean the end of the episode was ambiguous so we don't really know who won but you got to think to yourself how strong is Hit compared to Shampa like if Shampa gets pissed off if they lose and Shampa comes after Hit and them how is Hit gonna like fare against him can Hit just say yo get out of my way and like fuck him up or could it just be a case that Hit is so destroyed that they're not even gonna show it like after this fight Hit's gonna be too decimated to even do anything to Shampa even if he was close to him in power and i mean all in all again this was a great episode of super i mean a lot of the dialogue a lot of the things that were said in this episode of them going back and forth the respect factor the fact that hit kind of grew as a character throughout the episode and then the epicness and the insanity super saiyan blue kaioken i mean there's nothing more that can be said other than this was a fucking great fighting episode of dragon ball super the ost the opening going on while goku was going in on hit and shit like that but talking about the preview real quick and if you haven't seen the preview then you might not want to listen to this bit it looks like the fight's still going to be going which is interesting because i thought the end of the episode okay next episode hit's gonna be down goku done did it but it seems like we're getting more so it's kind of interesting to see where this is gonna go like who knows maybe universe 6 can take the win god knows but let me know what you guys think about this whole episode what did you think about the fight do you think that this is the best fight and not only the universe 6 tournament but in dragon ball super in general better than the beerus fight better than the resurrection of f like well let's be real here resurrection of f that was just them abusing a frieza after he came back and your overall thoughts after this one what do you think about hit as a character scene him grow and him being able to stop time for 0.5 i mean if the fight continues the only other thing i can think of is maybe he advances even further and he can stop time for like a full second he uses time skip for a full-on second against goku and that's how goku's gonna be defeated or that's how you know the match is gonna be prolonged like i don't know what do you think but thanks for watching if you enjoyed anything about this video make sure to drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram and stalk him on facebook to get more when the video ends i'm for world and as always people have an awesome day